Today, you're gonna to be getting some extra practice in rounding. Remember I said yesterday that rounding is really important as we get ready to think about estimating and then lots of other things we do in math. It's good to get some extra practice. So here we go. Don't forget the rounding roller coaster. Zero through four means you round down or stay the same. Five through nine means you round up. Let's get practicing. Look at these three numbers. You're going to round each of these to the nearest hundred. Grab your whiteboard and marker, or you can just do it on a piece of scrap paper. Pause the video and round each of these to the nearest hundred. Go ahead, pause it. All right, hopefully you paused it to be able to solve them. Let's check your answers. How'd you do? Did you get all three right? Don't forget, you underline the place you're rounding to, you circle, the digit to the right. The digit to the right tells you whether you're going to round up or round down and stay the same. For this one, we're going to stay the same. The other digits to the right become zeros. Let's try some more. Now you're going to round these to the nearest thousand. You know the drill. Pause the video and solve each of these to the nearest thousand. Go ahead, pause it. Did you do it? All right, let's see your answers. Dun, da, da. Don't forget, you need to underline the digit in the place that you're going to round to, circle the digit to the right. The circle digit tells you whether to round up or round down and stay the same. This one's gonna tell us to round up. The other digits become zeros and the digit to the left stays the same too, 17,000. One more set to practice. Now you're gonna to round to the nearest 10,000. Just like we did before, go ahead, pause the video, and then round them. Ready to see your answers? Let's see. All right. Hopefully you did a great job on rounding these to the nearest 10,000. Now that you've watched the video and got a little bit of practice, go into your Google slide assignment. You're going to drag the number to any spot you want and then type the answer in the box in the third column. The directions are in the first slide in case you forget. 